सिरसा जी के संबोधन का रुख करते हैं ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री थावर चंद गहलोत जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका एंड माई गुड फ्रेंड माई ब्रदर श्री बसवराज बोमई जी ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया हु स्टीयर द कंट्री स्टीयर द इकोनॉमी थ्रू वेरी टफ टाइम्स थ्रू द लास्ट इयर्स ऑफ पेंडेमिक एंड नाउ द सीरियस जियो पोलिटिकल सिचुएशन ऑनरेबल श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारमन जी माई गुड फ्रेंड एंड ब्रदर प्रहलाद जोशी जी राजीव चंद्रशेखर जी श्री मुर्गेश देरानी जी वेज पुट इन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट टू मेक टूडेज प्रोग्राम इन्वेस्ट कर्नाटका बिल्ड फॉर द वर्ल्ड अ ग्रैंड सक्सेस कैप्टन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री other distinguished dignitaries on the dais of the dais friends of the media ladies and gentlemen truly delighted to be a part of this very very exciting journey that karnataka is embarking upon today in fact i was wondering with the presence of the honorable finance minister today whether the mint has shifted to bangalore and to karnataka because i think you are minting a lot of money into karnataka with the 7 lakh crore plus projects coming into the state of karnataka my congratulations to the government of karnataka bomai ji nirani ji all your colleagues the bureaucracy and officials of karnataka deserve the highest accolades for the detail in which they have gone to attract industry to karnataka for their unstinted effort to make karnataka the place to do business in the place to invest in to make it easier to do business here to improve the logistics here to support the startup ecosystem here and in almost every ranking that is being done by the central government among states we find karnataka perform exceedingly well a real destination to be in to invest in to make in and to serve from and very clearly wherever i go in the world i can see huge excitement about coming to bengaluru coming to karnataka and working over here only yesterday i was uh, doing a call with my counterpart the commerce secretary of the united states of america and we were finalizing our next commercial dialogue which will be held in india sometime in february next year and in the course of the conversation she expressed a very serious interest to come to bengaluru and experience karnataka very recently at the silicon valley while i was engaged with interactions with industry with innovators with investors in san francisco palo alto los angeles you could perceptibly see the resonance of karnataka particularly in the it space in the research and development space in the space of innovation in the space of future technologies and i'm sure hearing from them about their huge investment plans in karnataka hearing from international fortune 500 companies the way they are looking to grow and expand their operations in and around bengaluru and other parts of karnataka i almost felt it was like a rerun of the movie kantara i am told the movie was a low budget film with a very small investment the movie was made and it showcases indigenous art forms the culture of karnataka but the honorable chief minister just told me 
while I knew it was a super hit, it was a blockbuster, but he just told me that they've already grossed nearly 20 times what they had invested in the movie. 300 crores they have grossed against an investment of, I think, six, 18 crores. 8 crores, my God. Whatever 8 crores, 10 crores, 16 crores, whatever they have invested, that delta of return, I'm sure, is being noticed by all the captains of industry here. And that is what attracts investors and industry today to India, to the state of Karnataka. And I have no doubt in my mind that the ecosystem that's been created in Karnataka will continue to attract more and more people to Karnataka, to attract industry, big and small, to enjoy the fruits of the very progressive industrial policies, investment policies, research and development policies, innovation policies, textile policy that Karnataka has offered to the world. In fact, when Texas Instruments opened their office in Karnataka way back in 1985, which is uh, nearly 37 years ago, I don't think anybody in their wildest dreams had imagined that one day this beautiful city, better known for its weather, will one day become the innovation capital, the Silicon Valley of India. In fact, I'm sure wise investors, or if I may say, wiser investors, we have a lot of wise investors, but the wiser investors must be looking to Karnataka. And why do I say they are looking to Karnataka? Because Karnataka offers wisdom, the talent pool that is required by industry, by business. Karnataka not only offers incentives, but also is the capital for innovation. Karnataka is hugely focused on sustainability. And investors across the world today are looking for places where sustainability is respected. A beautiful future for Karnataka. They are all building a foundation of a very brilliant Karnataka, the pride of India. The pride of India where there is people skill, there is talent skill, where we have resources, natural resources, where we have a very strong government, where we have decisive leadership, where India first prevails and which has a set of entrepreneurial people. And this kind of combination cannot be found everywhere. Karnataka boasts of a combination of very alluring factors which makes Karnataka the pride of India, the right place to invest in India, where whether it's logistics, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's ease of doing business or it is cost of doing business. All factors are looked into, are focused on. In fact, Karnataka not only looks at smart manufacturing or industry 4.0, it, it's focused equally on the service sector, the Internet of Things, all, all futuristic technologies and innovative ideas are available in Karnataka. So not only will Karnataka make in Karnataka for the world, but it will serve from Karnataka the entire globe. And that collectively is the strength of Karnataka. Friends, today the world looks at India as a trusted partner. Through the pandemic, we met all our international obligations. Not for a single day did any company around the world have to suffer a disruption in their supply chains and all those who had an element of that supply
supply chain in Karnataka are happy that Karnataka made the enabling environment which did not let down anybody in the world. And therefore, I can clearly see that trust resonating in a large amount of investor interest leading to an investment potential of at least 7 lakh crores. I can see that some investors are also looking at increasing their potential investments in this state. And I have no doubt, under the leadership of Chief Minister Bomai and his colleagues, and the very, very sensitive bureaucracy that we have here, we'll be able to fructify these investments, put them on the ground fast, and ensure the prosperity of every person in Karnataka. In fact, I think the time has come that the government and investors in Karnataka not only look for gold, I know gold is available in KGF, the Karnataka gold fields, but just like you are looking at prosperity in your businesses, you are looking at prosperity for the people of Karnataka. I invite all of you to invest in Karnataka, to invest in growth, to invest in the future. Let KGF be our mantra, Karnataka, growth and future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.